Hello guys, welcome to a flatland. Hey Piggy. Uh, I was able to scrounge up a bunch of money in Minecraft and I was able to get five gold ingots. But I don't even know where we are. There's this... Oh, wait, what? Oh, hey, look at this. Current price, 300 gold. Well, if I want to pay for this village, I might want to see what it's all about. Like, what's over here? Uh, so far, nothing. Okay, so that's uh, basically a waste. The mayor's house. Hey, let's go talk to the mayor. Um, mayor? Uh, one gold ingot equals 100 gold. Oh, wow, I, I must have $500. Yeah, I got the. Just ignore this. Just call it money or dollars. Money conversion. Oh my god, the mayor knows money conversion now. Sweet. And we got a blacksmith over here. Awesome. What does the blacksmith have? He's got stuff for me. Yeah, he's got stuff. We got a farm. It's pretty cool. And we got a... I guess bakery? I don't know. I can call it general goods. So what is this series going to be? Uh, this series is going to be almost kind of like Sim city ish but in Minecraft kind of way. So what this is, is that... Uh, uh, this series is going to be that I get to start off with a little town, you know, this. If not, uh, or even if I didn't, I would have started off with a little, uh, build a little house and built a blacksmith and then I would do everything uh, non-digitalized. I would do everything on paper, which is usually what I did on my last series, but I'd rather do it digitally for you guys, so cost of this. So, current price is 300 gold. Okay, so let's just uh, drop out uh, 3 gold. There we go. 3 gold. So now, there we go. So now, this is my village. Uh, I would like to name my village, though. Hmm. Piggy, what do you what do you recommend for a village name? Piggy? Come on. You, ha you usually come out with great names. Come on. Piggy, come on. You gotta, you gotta help me name this little village. What was that? At <laughs> Snortville? No, I'm not going to call it that. Okay, so... Let's see. Okay. So what this uh, village really needs is a granary. Or in this case, a bakery. The, because right now they're getting uh, wheat, but they're not really getting anything done. So what I want to do is let's keep it to the colored theme. So this, this, and this, and this. And let's go for stairs too. We'll put stairs on there. If, sorry if you can hear that. Uh, somebody has a snowblower outside, and it's really loud. Thank you. So let's see. Where should I build it? Uh, let's build it over. Let's let's build it over here. Oh, whoops! I didn't want to break that. Let's build it over here. Dude, you're being loud. Shut up. I'm joking. <laughs> that is being really loud and being very mean right now. Uh, so these videos may be a little bit short. Uh, what what was the cost for... Uh, 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 bakery is 150 I think that's what I discussed. Okay, so I should have five golden nuggets then. Okay. If I could find the nuggets. Are they materials? Yeah, they are. Okay. So, how this works is that uh, each day, so tomorrow, uh, the blacksmith or the bakery or both of them would give me will give me money so that I can build more and more uh, buildings, obviously. So that I can build more buildings and you guys get to see how I build stuff, I guess. I don't know. The bakery, we're just going to build the basic structure. I'm not going to make like a windmill and all that kind of stuff. No, because I don't want to. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I want to build three up here. Let's build it. Let's make it at least two smaller than this. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's make it this way. Is it? Yeah, it's even crap. I'll make it. Nope, didn't want to do that. Uh, we'll make it one more. I'll have to make that path two more then. I wanted to lead a little bit out of the village. I w there is two villages all the way over there, but they were like too big and too complicated uh, to start off with, so I'm like, eh, no. 
not going to start off with them. Uh, the one I was actually going to start this series on had a no blacksmiths, so I couldn't get any money. Uh, houses, um, this will be like a cheap little thing that costs like, I guess, 100 gold. This one will cost like 150. These ones will cost about like maybe 200. That's what I'm thinking, so... If you guys would like a price list, uh, or at least like to make one for me, uh, please feel uh, feel free because you know, knowing your guys' ideas, you guys would probably make better ideas of prices than I can. Because I'm really bad at prices, like really, I am. I'm really bad at making them. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to make it one place. Wait, do they mix cobblestone with the building? Yeah, they do. Crap. I don't want to do that, though. But at least we're going to make uh, some building uh, quirks that they do, they kind of used. Yes, these are villager buildings. I did uh, use MC Edit to paste them over here, in case you guys are wondering. But it was I just wanted to do like a little village, you know, just get a little bit of income in, and then... This is actually not how I did last time. Last time I actually handmade everything. But uh, everything was too cramped, and it, it didn't really work out that bad, that good. So I ended up almost scrapping the entire series over, but Corey told me, no, no, just keep it. See how far this is going to go. I'm like, dude, this series sucks. It's not going the way I wanted it to go. He's like, no, 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 keep it. And I'm like, fine, I'll keep it, but I'm not going to like it. The series did carry on for a little while until uh, somebody decided to uh, put a... Uh, what was it? Put a copyright strike on it, and it was, uh, what was it? It was like a city maker, city builder, or something like that, and it was like a fake one, too. You could tell it's fake. It was really quite funny. Me and Lucian were laughing at it, because it, cause you could tell it was fake, but it was funny how people thought that this could scare me. It didn't scare me, because I knew it was a joke. It was... It was like CityMaker.VFNet or something like that. Like it was some, it was a stupid name, and it was uh, it was quite funny. So yeah, that's what happened to the last series. Uh, it's still up, but uh, there's no new episodes because I don't even have the world anymore, and because uh, th uh, the person who apparently is the person who actually sent it to us told us that uh, if we ever continue the series, uh, we're going to be out. And I'm going to have to make uh, go to MC e Edit to move this up one because I messed up. And I don't feel like rebuilding it. Okay. Now, I said I'm, uh, now if I said that I was actually going to use everything in the end, I don't think I did, but... I'm not gonna be using the same floor that they use because if you don't, if you chat, if you see these ones, uh, I think they're all the same. Yeah, see, they're all the same, which is not really what I want. I want to make some difference. Is so I'm gonna keep this in my inventory because if I lose it, I lose it forever. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where's birch? Because I love birch. Oh wait, let's use one of the new ones. Oh, I thought that one was okay. Let's use the AC. Uh, I want to see what that one looks like. I want to use the Asia. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool color. I like it. It's not the greatest color in the world, but it's a nice color. I like it. And it actually looks like a granary floor. Or bakery, whatever. Uh, as long as I have some of these. Now, if they make toast in the game, then I'm going to incorporate these more but I'm gonna put like two of them here two of them here so there's no point in these windows but I don't care I'm gonna place them there and we're gonna go over here and so the bakery will be up and running how am I back there we go uh, this is gonna be up one remember so I'll put stairs there and I guess I could name these. Uh, let's see. Crap. I did it again. I did that with the mayor's house, too. Blacksmith. Yeah, there we go. There we go, blacksmith. And then we're going to call this...
the big nope no I want it down one there we go bakery there we go so there we go so this is the village right now just so you guys know uh, there is nothing for miles but what we are going to be doing is we will be attacked at some points in time um, I'll be making sure though that uh, where is it there's the village I was talking about uh, this is the village that I was talking about as you can see I did edit it a little bit this is the village I was talking about now there in the future I may incorporate this but right now I'm not going to be doing anything with this as you can see I was trying to edit it a little bit make it a little bit nicer prettier and all that kind of stuff but we may be I may be incorporating this right now this is also an abandoned uh, one uh, what would the price of this one be uh, you guys let me know uh, the price of this one should be at least a little bit high. It shouldn't be like nothing or anything like that. It should be like at least a decently priced. So I'm going to leave an assign empty here. And you guys let me know what the price of this village should be. If not, I'm going to think about like maybe 1000 maybe 500 or something like that. Like something pretty cheap because this is abandoned. It's not... I killed all the villagers here. That's why it's abandoned. Uh... So it's abandoned, you know, it's not really the greatest village ever. It's it's got a decent amount of produce, it's got a lot. It doesn't have a blacksmith, so there goes a lot of the income. Uh there's no bakery here, so they not get they're not getting any income. And that's why there is nobody here to take care of it. But if uh but if my village actually uh gets the this village uh, there will be a lot more housing there will be a lot more people living in it and there will be a lot of yes I will be spawning in villagers at some points but that's only to make it look more aesthetic I guess ish I don't know just to make it look more realistic ish uh, I don't know it's just to make it uh, seem more realistic I'm just putting fences here because uh, some farms, uh, in my opinion, should have a fence around it. But I will separate the buildings from the gravel path because this is going to bother me. It, it really is. So I'm going to move them a little bit back. But there's still going to be someone in the path. I believe I had to move this one because these two were being combined together and it was like really creepy and weird. I think I physically moved this one. Yeah, I physically moved this one ish. So in the future, uh I am allowed to relocate my village, but it's going to be a heavy cost though. Like it's not going to be like 200 gold. No, it's going to be like maybe 3000 or 5000, you know, just to make it seem more fair. I don't have to keep on relocating it uh I will move all these houses, I think, back one, so though they're off the path for the step. I'll have to move that one up, and I'll, I guess I'll move this one up. And there's another village over here, which is not too far. This one has villagers in it, though. And this is where I got most of the buildings. This is where I got, I think, most of the buildings. I think you could kind of tell. Uh, I think this is the blacksmith that I took. It doesn't have a door. I put the door there. No, this isn't it. Oh, hey, that one has armor. Horse armor. Yes, I will be making the stables. I actually built one in the other one, though, even though horses wasn't uh, implemented then. Oh, this is the blacksmith I took. Even though uh, horses wasn't really implemented then, uh, I still had it. Just in case they did. Or just in case I added, I decided to add a mod. So, yeah. So this will be a village I'll be buying I guess uh, as you can see it's kind of complicated ish to build upon it uh, I could definitely find ways to improve this one uh, I would like to if we do end up buying it I would like to combine my village to over here because if you think about it uh, it kind of ends off over here like there's nothing over here 
but there's no room here. Once I move everything back, there will be a little less room. So that's what my idea is. Uh, this uh, these, these videos aren't going to be long. These videos are going to be very short. But you guys get to see how I build and how fast I do. Uh, and how uh, quirky this little series is going to be. It's a really nice uh, idea. I liked it. But my only problem is that I didn't think anybody else was going to like it. So if you guys don't like it, I'll kind of stop-ish, I guess. I don't know. I won't stop completely, but I'll stop like putting them off uh, all the time. So if you guys liked it, uh, these videos won't come out like as I said, like a day after or a day before or something like that. Uh, I will have to record how much income I'm getting. So the blacksmith is giving me right now 75. I know he can't split the gold nugget. That's why I built the bakery because it also gives me 75. Uh, so, so 275 is this, uh, plus the 5 I still have, so I'll be at 2 gold ingots uh, next time. And I think that I should build a blacksmith next. I'll have to replicate this one. That's going to be challenging. But I'll replicate this one and then uh, we'll be getting a lot more income. So yeah, goodbye guys. See you guys tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Goodbye guys.